Hi, my name is Marcelo Ciro, I am a sound designer and a re-recording mixer and I will do two videos talking about how I set up my session in 5.1. First, let's talk about IO setup. Everything on my session goes to a rack. This is where I print my mix. Here is my rack path 5.1. In Pro Tools you can do sub paths and I have a LCR subpath, a 50 subpath, a RS LS subpath for the surround, and a LFE subpath. So let's come back to the session. I will show you why I do this. You don't have to use a 5.1 track in everything. For example, sure that it depends of the movie, but I usually use only my dialogue in LCR, my footsteps in LCR too. Let me show you how I avoid a really big session. You can see that all my dialogue here, the tracks in blue, goes to a bus. This is a LCR bus, call it bus DX. This is the bus that goes to my rack. I don't need to use everything in 5.1, so I use the subpath LCR. Here my effects in yellow, that goes to aux, call it effects. It is 5.0. Here my aux. That goes to a rack. 5.1, but to the subpath 5.0. The same thing for my folly, that goes to aux, call it bus fly, also LCR, and the aux that receive this go to my rack 5.1 with the subpath LCR. The same thing for my background, that goes to a bus, call it bus BG and it goes to aux, call it aux BG. This one is 5.1 that goes to the rack 5.1. And the same thing here with my footsteps. I send it to a bus FS that is LCR that go to aux and this aux goes to a rack 5.1 with LCR subpaths. All my effects, reverb, everything also goes to this rack and my master also goes to the rack 5.1 to print my mix. I use aux only to listen my rack that I call aux monitor. In this aux I receive all my mix. I'm using a down mix only to do this video, so let's remove it to show you. I send it to the 5.1 output. This is how I organize my I.O. I will talk more about this in the next video. I hope you enjoy and follow us.